So I'm sharing with you my everyday skincare routine in this video. I have had this highly requested, but I've never done one where I did the morning and the evening one. I kind of just slapped on a little bit of makeup so that I could do the evening one, but you're gonna see the AM one first and then you'll see the PM one. Now, please keep in mind that I'm not trying to get everybody to go out and purchase things. I know that this is a hard time for everybody, but, but I've had this video asked a lot of me and I wanted to make sure that I did both of them in one video for you combined so that you can see how I incorporate everything. Now I will list below in the description box the morning routine and then the evening routine. And what I'll do is I'll put what I do and the product next to it linked. That way you can see, you know, what steps I go through and you don't have to keep going back, pausing the video, writing down notes if you don't want to. You could just go to the description box and figure it out all there. So if you're new to my channel, I invite you please to subscribe and hit the bell so that you don't miss any future videos. And I also would like to ask whether you're new to my channel or whether you've been with me for several years, please give this video a thumbs up. It really does help me. And I appreciate you guys doing that for me and um, hanging in with me all the time. I do appreciate that. Okay, so we're gonna get into my AM skincare routine so that you can see the steps right now. Starting off in the morning, I use the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. I overnight have had on a lot of oils, a lot of extra stuff, so I wanna make sure I take all that off. I'm gonna use one pump of it. That's all I really need to take it all off. And I am just massaging it around as usual and i love this because it's creamy it's hydrating i don't feel like it strips my skin in the morning of all the oils that i've used overnight and yet i don't feel like it leaves a film behind or anything either i'm just using a regular washcloth to um, wipe all of that off i like this as my exfoliator every day simply because i do use a chemical exfoliating agent um, probably three times a week I use a glycolic um, toner. I don't use that every day right now because I've been finding that it's just been a little bit too much with switching over to a higher Retin-A. Just show you that really quick. That's from The Ordinary and it's the glycolic acid 7% toning solution. And then also I use once a week in the shower to slough off anything that is a lot of dead skin. And also since I'm self tanning, I use this actually all over my body too. It is the micro delivery facial wash from Philosophy. And I love this exfoliating because it is super light granules it's not heavy it doesn't feel like it's just scraping your skin it's just very um, fine and it polishes the skin and I like it a lot once I'm done with that I go in with the good molecules Ni niacinamide brightening toner this has been an amazing product for me and I know so many of you have picked it up and you're loving it too you see results from this as far as shrinking your pores and helping to refine your complexion so quickly so if you have a problem with textured skin from pores then you might think about getting this it's not very expensive and at least you could at least give it a try with one bottle and see if it's something that you like this is going on my third bottle and I won't be without it so it's a very watery texture I just put it in between my hands there and then I'm just going to press it into my face and I'm going to go everywhere with it. I even go up around my eyes. I don't mind that. My eyes aren't super duper sensitive, kind of a little bit, but not super sensitive. And this one does not bother it at all. So I'm going to take that all the way down into my decollete and then whatever's left, it's going to go on the top of my hands and I push it all the way up my skin. So I do put a little bit extra in my hands when I use it just so that I have the extra to go on my hands and up my arms. So I do have several medical grade skincare items that I'm testing out right now currently that I got sent to by Skin Beautiful RX. Um, really sweet, wonderful gal named Leah over there and I'll link her channel. She's new to YouTube. You guys, if you're into skincare, you might wanna go over and just check her out. She's full of, she's got this wealth of knowledge about skincare and I just have really appreciated her. So long story short, I got sent this Neogenesis eye serum, which I'm using and I just use probably a dropper, uh, about a dropper size, not a ton. And I'm gonna put that all around my eyes, top to bottom, 
clear up around, I go in between my eyes right there where my 11s are and I go all the way out, um, especially paying good attention. I'm not using a lot of pressure, you guys. Paying good attention to all of the wrinkles I have underneath because that's where my problem is. And then what's ever left on my um, fingers, I'm gonna put on my top lip because honestly, I had really bad lip lines and until I started really pushing my skincare into those lip lines, I noticed finally that they started to soften. And then after that, I go in with this new, it's polyglutamic, uh, glutamic, glutamic acid. I wanna say glutamic, but I know that's not it. Polyglutamic acid. And this is supposed to hold 4,000 times itself in water. It's supposed to be four times as effective as hyaluronic acid. But what I'm gonna do before that, in order to get lots of water on my skin, I'm going to spray this with the spray bottle and I'm going to just really kind of douse my skin so that I get a lot of water on there for this to be able to hold on to and keep all of that on. And I'm not gonna use a lot. I'm gonna use about a half a pump of that. I don't know if you can see that or not. I used about a half a pump and I'm just going to spread that everywhere across because with the water on, that's gonna completely go across everything. And I really like that about it. So make sure you go down into your decollete and up your neck again and make sure you get your jowls. That is one thing that I would say. Get your jowls in your ears and as far back around your neck as you can. Your hairdresser will attest to the fact that behind your neck, you show A. So I've been enjoying that one and I do feel like it is a lot more hydrating than hyaluronic acid. So this has been a good product for me. Now I wanna talk about vitamin C because lots of people wear vitamin C in the morning. This is my vitamin C that I ha was using. I'm actually testing out another one for another company again, but this is the vitamin C that I was using. So if you want extra vitamin C in your, your routine, this is the point where I would put it on. The niacinamide toner from Good Molecules actually has vitamin C in it, and the niacinamide is actually one of those protective barriers barriers as well. So I don't use this one right now. I don't want to get tons and tons of steps in here, but this is the vitamin C that I would use and I would recommend to you if you were wanting an extra vitamin C product. Um, this is from the parent company of Hada Labo. All right, and then as my moisturizer that I lock everything in with, this is the Suko Yakasu Hada Urea Moisture Lotion. This is an essence. Believe it or not, you guys, this is the only thing that I've used for several years now in the morning for my layer of moisture that locks everything in that keeps me uber, uber hydrated. I mean, this is beyond hydrating. And I am here to tell you that this stuff, not only is it soothing, it feels wonderful on the skin, but the hydration on this that will last you all day long if you have dry skin, is simply phenomenal. And then as far as all the creams go, I'm gonna put an eye cream on from Suko Yaka Suhada. This is the eye cream that I swear by to plump up the deep, deep wrinkles that I have underneath here. So good. So I'm gonna put this all over my eye contour, which means all around underneath and all the way on top. Yes, I do use it on top. No, it doesn't interfere with my makeup because I use a really good primer but I'm gonna put that all over the place. I'm gonna go in between my eyes. I'm pretty generous with that, actually. I love to put it on my lip. It's just so, so hydrating. And that under eye area is gonna be plumped up and ready for concealer and makeup. And I just love that. A little, little bit across those necklines. Last thing on anybody's skincare routine on the planet, please use your SPF. This is from Skin Aqua. This is their UV Super Moisture Milk. This one, I just love it because I'm so dry. And use I, a lot, you guys. Don't skimp on this. This is the important part. So make sure you're not skimping on this. Make sure it goes across your eyes, all the way up into your hairline. That's where the sun hits me the most. Up my ears. And then that goes. That huge amount is all I use just on my face. Now I'm going to use about that much again on my neck and my decollete, especially my decollete because honestly, you guys, this is where I get the most sun damage because that is showing up so much. So I make sure that every 
spot on me is covered. So I'm not gonna do my shoulders, but this is what I use on my hands. This is from Neutrogena. This is their Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Sunscreen 100 Plus. And I like this one because it's super lightweight. It sinks in really quickly and it's not terribly expensive. So what I'm wearing today is um, a over shirt that comes um, down the arms about halfway on the top of your arms here. So I'm going to go as far up as I can on that and I am slathering that stuff on. And that is my morning skincare routine. And the reason that I love this all so much is it just all goes together. It doesn't interfere with my makeup. So now let's get into the PM skincare routine so that you can see me take off all my makeup and what I do to get ready for bed. So we're gonna start with what I use to actually take off this makeup. This is a microfiber towel. I buy them on Amazon. They're super inexpensive. I love these. This is a cotton round that I use to help take off my eye makeup, especially, it's not a cotton round, I'm sorry. This is a microfiber round that I use to take off my eye makeup, especially waterproof makeup. It just makes it a lot easier. So I start with making sure my face is splashed with water. And since I don't have that, I'm gonna use my spray bottle and I'm just gonna wet my face. And then I'm gonna start with the cleansing balm from Good Molecules. And this is what I'm gonna use to take off my eye makeup and other makeup. I use a pretty generous amount. And then I go into my eyes and because I do use waterproof, I kind of just let them soak with my hands to kind of get that started to go around and start getting that off of there. And then I make sure, since I put makeup clear down my decollete, my chest, that I make sure that I put all of my cleansers on there. Now the cotton round is already wet. It doesn't have anything on it. You can use more micellar water if you'd like to, but I just do like to use this. And again, I just set it on there for a second, kind of wiggle it back and forth. I'm not wanting to put too much pressure on my eyes because of course you guys know that that is not the greatest with that tender skin around your eyes. So I'm just pulling that off and you can see how that's starting to um, get the makeup off. Now I will take a little bit of a clean part and I'll just go around and try to get off as much of the thick makeup as I can to begin with. So I'll show you right there how dirty and dark that got with taking off all that makeup. And then I'm gonna go in, this is actually new to me and was sent to me by Pixie Beauty. This is the retinol and jasmine um, cleanser and it says it contains retinol and ceramides. So I've been using this, I've been liking it. It's actually quite thick, a little bit thicker, which I like because I like to have things that are a little bit thicker to take, um, to not strip my skin quite so much. So now I'm just gonna go over everything again. This is my second cleanse. And I'm just going to make sure that all the residual is off from that balm. And then of course, everything is off from the rest of my makeup. And I'm using the microfiber towel on this one. And these towels are so fantastic. They will take off makeup without even using any cleanser. You can just use water if you want to. I buy them uh, two at a time, two sets at a time, and they come in a five pack. And I'll make sure that I link those below for you as well. I also take a minute just to wipe my hands down. And you know, I wash my hands all day long, so there's not a lot there, but I want to put some treatment on my hands as well. So I'll take a minute and just wipe those down. Very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with my X-Lash and I'm gonna put this on my eyelashes my eyelash line, I should say. I'm gonna paint that on and then whatever's left, I put on the bottom one. That way that can begin to sink in and it's on my eyes before anything else interferes with it. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you that a couple of the skincare items that I am going to use are very expensive. And that is one, this is one that is osmosis and this is this the Renew Advanced Retinol Serum. And I got this sent to me in PR and I have been trying it. I do like this very much, especially on nights when I'm not doing my Retin-A. Now I use this first because it has the retinol in it and it's the consistency very much of the other serums and essences that I use. Usually you use essence first, but in this case, because this sinks in so quickly and it's such a dynamic product, as far as not messing with the next product you're gonna put on because they will continue to sink in. So I'm gonna use this first because I want the benefits of this first. So I use kind of a pea size amount. This amount is gonna go on my decollete and up my neck. And then I'm gonna use another pea size amount and that is gonna go all over my face and forehead. 
And like I said, this is sinking in so quickly as I'm doing it here. And I am going to put that right up underneath my eyes. Since it's a retinol and not a retin-A, it's a little bit more gentle. And my, my eyes have been handling it just fine. And then normally I would take another pea size amount and put it up my hands, but I'm not gonna do that right now. Next thing I'm gonna go in with is the Secret Key Starting Treatment Essence. This has got galactomyces. And that is a brightening agent, a fermentation agent that just really helps even out the skin tone, helps with anti-age, helps with aging, and really does help your skin um, get ready for other treatments you're gonna be putting on it. And I really love this one. I've noticed a huge different in how, difference in how bright my skin is. So that one goes on next. And of course, I'm gonna put that up my hands and all the way up my arms as well. The next item I'm gonna use is from Cause de Baja. This is a multi-action peptide facial toner. This has tons of peptides in it, Matrixol, Argireline. It's really good. <laughs> it has a lot of really nice ingredients in it. It is a little bit thicker, um, almost like, oh, I can't even describe what it's like. It just um, goes on and it feels just a little bit, has a little bit more slip, a little bit more slide to it. And I go ahead and I put that everywhere. I put it across my lips and go ahead and put that on the back of your arm. On nights when I would want to use my retinol, um, this is what I would use is I have a 0.1%. I was able to get this in Mexico last year. So right now I'm only able to use this once, possibly twice a week, depending on how my skin does. And so I'm not going to really show you this on my face, but I will show you that I do put a pea size amount on my hands and my arms. Actually, it's a small pea size amount. So it's not very much, but I rub that together and then I will take that and I will just kind of zip that up my arms and directly onto my hands and my fingers. The one thing I will tell you is that the, the retinol that I used at the beginning, I don't use that on these nights that I use this. So nothing with retinol in it normally. The cleanser was okay, I pretty much wiped that away. But when you're doing Retin-A, stay away from the other retinols for the night. So I will do this after I do my serums though. I'll let my serums dry down about, you know, five, 10 minutes, I live in a very, dry climate so everything kind of sinks in and dries down quite quickly. And then I'll go ahead and go in, the, in with this when my skin is very dry. I use a pea size amount and dot it all around my face. And then I'll use another pea size amount and do my neck and my chest. And then I use another pea size amount and do the back of my arms. So you guys know exactly how the retinol goes and where it goes in my routine. So I will let this soak in for approximately 15 to 20 minutes before I move on to anything else. Just just so you know that. And then after that's soaked in and it feels like it's done fine, then I'll go in with a spray bottle again and I will spritz my face all over. And then I'll take my hyaluronic, my premium hyaluronic serum and I will use that. This is a super moisturizer as long as you have that water on. And I will again, just go all the way up my neck and my decollete and then up the face. Now you might say this is probably going to make your Retin-A travel a little bit. It does, I don't mind it. I don't get a ton of irritation from it, especially since I've let that Retin-A sink in. If you do have a lot of irritation, you might wanna do your Retin-A completely separate. Either try doing it before you do any of your skincare um, extras, any of the serums and essences, or try doing it completely after. Sometimes when you do it completely after all of your essences and all of your serums and everything, and even your moisturizer, sometimes it's much more gentle on the skin and you can handle it. So. And as a last step for the nighttime skincare routine, this is from The Ordinary, and it's the Virgin Marula Oil, 100% um, cold pressed virgin marula oil. This is a dupe for the drunk elephant marula oil, you guys. So I'm going to use just a few drops in the palm of my hand, and then I'm gonna just hold that, and I'm going to take my Suko Yaka Suhada. This is their actual cream that they have, and the cream is down in there, it's very thick. And so I'm just going to dip, just dot my hand into that cream, then dot my hand into the oil. That mixes the two together and then you can just go ahead and just put it everywhere on your face that needs that super hydration. And I'm pretty generous with this, especially around my neck, my jawline, all these areas that I know are going to need extra moisture because they are getting very crepey as I get older. I push it around to the back of my neck 
and I put it on my ears as well. Actually, I should have been putting all of my skincare on my ears. I do that now. And then I just pay attention to those areas that really need a lot of love because they are areas that are very dry, very wrinkly, and I do have some wrinkles, you guys, <laughs> a lot of wrinkles. So do I use a lip treatment at night? What I am trying out right now, because you guys know I love my X Lash. This is X Lips from the same company. This is with um, epidermal growth factors in it. And I've been actually liking this. It's very, very thin. I try to put it up around my lip lines and then down around the bottom lip line and then just press it together so that it gets all over. And then I'm gonna let that sink in for a few seconds. And then I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go in. in with City Lips at the very end of this. This is a color that I decided that I really couldn't wear. It's kind of a bright, sparkly orange color. And so I'm gonna go in with that and I'm gonna put it on. And it's going to be what I use at the very end of my routine to keep the moisture locked in my lips all night long. Plus, I guess, I go to bed with sparkly lips too, so that's something. And by the way, one last thing that I do for my hands is I use the Alpha Skin Care. I recently talked about this in another video. This is I the Renewal Body Lotion and it does have 12% uh, glycolic acid in it. It's a great anti-aging for the back of your hands and I use it up my arms. And I don't put this all over my body at night because what I'm finding is it's so occlusive that it holds in all the moisture and so it heats me up at night. So I only put this on the back of my hands at night, just so you know. All right, you guys, that is it for my skincare routine. That is what I do, that is what I use. I try really hard to take good care of my skin. I would much rather invest in skincare than high-end makeup. That is just my thoughts on it, simply because I want my skin to be the best canvas it can be, and no amount of makeup that you put on top of it, whether it's high-end or whether it's really good makeup is going to make a difference if your skincare isn't you know, working for you. So I hope that you did enjoy this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. I really appreciate you being here with me today. If you have any questions at all, Please let me know in the comment section below. I would love to hear those questions and, and hopefully you guys will understand that I'm not trying to promote spending any amount of money on anything right now. I just wanted to show you my routine. So thank you guys. I love you very much and I will catch you all in my next video. Bye guys.